Hey guys, what's up? It is Keith. I'm your friend here at Essex Recording Studios just outside of London in England, and I've got a really cool Fender Custom Shop guitar to share with you all today. Uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Holidays, We're just after Christmas here, it's Sunday, 2020. The plague is still upon us, but we are persevering. So, if you're new to the channel, hit like, hit subscribe, come join our circle of friends, and uh, come see some really rare guitars like this one that I get from all over the world. All right, guys, great to be back. I took a few days off. We're moving. We're opening a massive rock venue next door. Four stages, huge pub, huge hotel. It's going to be epic. Uh, so yeah, been very busy with that. Uh, King of the Dead was just in here recording. They got BBC introducing Sound of 2021. So they are ones to watch. Uh, they have a new song out January 8th. Big news from the studio. That's great. And uh, you're all caught up to speed here. Now, what we're dealing with in front of you is a Fender USA Custom Shop New Porter. This is a really interesting design. This first came out in 1965. So Fender started out with electrics, kind of the opposite of a lot of guitar companies. So they started off with electrics, made a name for themselves with their revolutionary solid bodies, and then got into acoustics. And they did so because of a German immigrant who was the son of a famous guitar luthier uh, who came out to the U.S. to make a name for himself and do his own innovative designs. And he started off at Rickenbacker, did the famous 4001 bass and uh, all the other super famous designs from the 50s and 60s for them, uh, and then moved over to Fender. Fender came out with four acoustic guitar models in 1963. That's when it started. And then two more, the Malibu and the New Porter in 1965. Now what's cool about this, a number of things. Mahogany body, mahogany top, back, sides, maple neck, Fender Strat style headstock, maple neck. Only 150 of these ever made, guys. Ultra, ultra rare. Most Fender acoustics are made overseas. For whatever reason, a guitar company as huge as Fender never really put a huge emphasis on making high-end acoustics. Gibson has, for sure. Gibson had their own factory dedicated to acoustics. And they do, you know, the, the SJ200 super famous, um, you know, staple in acoustic guitar history, as well as their Les Pauls and solid bodies and everything else. But for some reason, Fender didn't really ever move to compete in that marketplace. So it's extremely rare for them to release a USA custom shop guitar. And in fact, you, you know it's rare because it's not built in their California factory. It's built at their USA Acoustic Workshop in New Hartford, Connecticut. Whoa! All right, so something very, very different. Beautiful rosewood, wide brim, handlebar mustache style bridge. You've got this, looks like they're anodized kind of gold pearlescent style pick guards beautiful and then full mahogany top back sides rosewood fretboard and then if we look at the back ah oh, just a gorgeous guitar double binding top and back and there's that maple neck and what's super popular about this model not only does it retain the iconic fender strat style headstock that everybody knows and recognizes but if you are primarily an electric guitar player this is so much more comfortable because you have an electric guitar style neck you have a strat style maple neck here 
Um, you know, I started out learning on acoustic. I think a lot of people do. And then they graduate to electric because it's so much easier to learn on acoustic. There's less involved. You don't need an amp. You don't need a speaker cabinet. You don't need chords and all sorts of stuff like that. Leads. So when you do that, the, the first thing you notice when you migrate from acoustic to electric is, whoa, that neck gets a lot thinner on an electric guitar. Also, the bodies get a lot smaller. So, for people that want, you know, a more reasonable sized body, a, a, a fast neck to play acoustic, this is the ultimate model. Um, you know, with Gibson, this gets close to what they would call a parlor sized guitar, which is a full size guitar, but just a smaller version of their jumbos. I really like this style of body. You know, you have your Dreadnought and you have your Jumbo. And to me, this looks like kind of like a parlor Jumbo. Um, it has all of the benefits of a premium custom shop, full-size, full-bodied guitar. The mahogany body. Very warm. Obviously vibrant. You've got uh, lots of resonance, lots of sustain, uh, but not too bright. I don't like acoustic guitars that are too bright. I think uh, dark, warm, that to me, that's where acoustics should sit. That's, that's where it's at. Fishman pickup. Yes, you have the controls right there. And if we look inside, you see fender burned into the wood. And then you've got the... Limited edition number 126 out of 150. Now, this, this is a little bit funny. I have to kind of uh, take the mick out of Fender, as they say over here, because it's called the California Series, USA California Series. You get a TKL case made in Canada, which is what uh, all of Gibson's cases are TKL. Canadian case, and their California Series, that they say, is made... In Connecticut. All right. Why don't we call it the, the Connecticut series, guys? Let's let's call it what it is. You know? Either way, super rare guitar, world class. You've got all the case candy, the signed certificate from Frank Untermeyer. Man, I hope I said your surname correctly, Frank. That's uh that's a first for me. Untermeyer, general manager at the Acoustics Workshop. It's just been set up professionally. What'd they do? This is a few months back. They did, oh, they did a lot of stuff. Check braces and bridge plate. Clean inside guitar. Tighten screws, tuners, polish frets. Clean and oil fingerboard and bridge. Clean and polish guitar. Restring, stretch strings. Just trust rod. Just saddle height and radius. File nut slots and lubricate. Check intonation. Great. So we're good to go. We're golden. And, uh, yeah, awesome acoustic case, has the Fender logo on it, all nice gold latches, um, just a beautiful guitar, guys. And for some people, it will seem weird that you have this iconic solid body acoustic, or uh, excuse me, solid body electric headstock on an acoustic, but I think that's what is awesome about this. That's what makes it truly a Fender. And the fact that you get something from their custom shop, only 150 ever made with rare materials, they, they don't make this model to my knowledge with full mahogany body. Um, that's just really special. And if you are a guitar collector, you know, getting something special from Fender that nobody else has is a pretty big deal. And getting something limited edition custom made on the acoustic side of the house is nuts. Yeah. We uh, recently, we've gotten big into Taylor's over here. We've got some Martins. Definitely have some Gibson acoustics. This guitar sounds really, really nice. And we're definitely going to use it on some recordings until it sells. It is available for sale. We've got it on the website, EssexRecordingStudios.com. 
and it's going on the old Reverb.com. I think it's the only one in the world. Again, they didn't make many of them, and everyone seems to have kept a hold of the ones they did get. I got this out of a massive collection at a super famous guitar auction, and uh, I said, you know what, we have to have this. It'll be really cool for the YouTube channel, really cool to give some exposure to all of our thousands of friends who probably don't know much about Fender Acoustics. I don't know much about Fender Acoustics. It's not really a company you think of when you think acoustic guitars. But that's our own fault because they do make some really, really great instruments. And over here in the UK, this specific model is actually really getting popular, the Newporter. We've seen it in country music here in the UK. I can think of two or three high-profile country artists who play exactly this model, the Newporter. And um, I know of at least one rock band whose frontman plays the Newporter as his exclusive acoustic. So yeah, yeah, guys, serious instrument. And this is the creme de la creme, only 150 of these. So not many people get the... The fine, fine craftsmanship out of New Hartford, Connecticut. Most will get a Mexican or Asian model. So if you want the very best, you are looking at it. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Again, happy holidays. Follow us on all the socials, at Essex Recording Studios, uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all that jazz. I will see you very soon in another video coming up just after this. Later, guys.